There are three main ratios that are true for every right triangle. Before we get to the ratios, we have to talk about some terminology. There are three labels we can give to the sides in a triangle. The first one is the hypotenuse, the second one is opposite, and the third one is adjacent. The hypotenuse is the longest side in the triangle, and it's always directly across from the 90 degrees. The position of the hypotenuse never changes. The opposite and adjacent sides, those are relative terms, and they depend on what your reference angle is. So let's just say I'm referring to angle A. If that's my reference angle, directly across the triangle is my opposite side. And the side left over is my adjacent side. We can use this terminology to talk about the primary trigonometric ratios. The three primary trigonometric ratios are sine, cosine, and tangent. You won't want to write out the words every time, so they each have their own symbol, sine, cos, and tan. And these ratios are referring to the reference angle. So let's just call your reference angle theta. That's a Greek letter. If theta is your reference angle, the sine of that angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine of that angle theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And the tangent of your reference angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. There's a shorthand way of remembering these. It's called SOKATOA. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. You can use these primary trigonometric ratios to determine lengths and angles in any right triangle. The first step is labeling your triangle. In this case, my reference angle is 36 degrees. Directly across from it, that's my opposite side. Remember, the hypotenuse is always directly across from the 90 degree angle, so that's my hypotenuse. The other side is my adjacent side. Next, I always write out my acronym SOKATOA, and I do that in order to determine which ratio to use to solve the problem. In this case, I want to solve for the length of B, which is the opposite side. The only other length that I know is this 26 centimeters, and that's my adjacent side. So I want the opposite, I have the adjacent, so I'm going to look for the ratio that uses both of those. Sine uses opposite and hypotenuse, so I'm not going to use that. Cosine uses the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so I'm not going to use that one either. The tangent ratio uses both opposite and adjacent, so that's the one I'm going to use. So remember, the tangent of the reference angle is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So I'm going to plug in the numbers that I know and solve for the one that I don't. My reference angle is 36 degrees. My adjacent side is 26 centimeters. And the opposite side is B, which I want to solve. So I rearranged my equation to get B isolated. And if you have a nice scientific calculator, you can type that in just the way it looks, and you'll get an answer of approximately 18.9 centimeters. To solve for an unknown angle, you start off the same way. You label your sides. The hypotenuse is my longest side directly across from the right angle. 
and directly across from my reference angle is my opposite side. So for this triangle, I know the opposite and the hypotenuse. So if I look at my acronym for SOKATOA, I want the one that uses both opposite and hypotenuse. It ends up being the sine ratio. Remember, sine of the reference angle is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. My reference angle is A, my opposite is 17, and my hypotenuse is 22. The sine of angle A is 17 over 22, but I want just the angle. So that means I'm going to have to do something called the inverse sine, and it looks like this. So I'm going to take the inverse sine of 17 over 22, and when I plug that into my calculator, I get an answer of approximately 51 degrees.